back to ASEAN in Focus. Delegates from the 10 member nations of ASEAN are now in the country to participate in the first Southeast Asia Human Rights Forum for Police Officials, which started yesterday and which will end on Thursday, April 30. The ASEAN Forum is related to security and human rights cooperation, which is now considered a vital factor in the ASEAN integration. The four-day forum aims to develop a framework for human rights cooperation among the ASEAN nations in the context of security reforms and ASEAN integration 2015. This activity is also done in cooperation with the Hans Seidel Foundation of Germany. To further discuss this important undertaking, we are honored to again have as our guest today Police Chief Superintendent Antonio Viernes, Chief of the Philippine National Police Human Rights Affairs Office, and Police Senior Superintendent Leonardo Cisneros, the Assistant Chief of the PNP HRL. Thank you so much for being here again, Paul. Yeah, thank you so much. That, uh, it is really an honor to be here again with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, Alma, uh, sana eh, uh, nandung kayo na buong uh, proseso ng aming uh, talakayan doon ay uh, nandun din sana kayo para lalong makita natin yung kagandahan mm -hmm. ng uh, first Southeast Asian uh, Human Rights Forum for mm -hmm. Police Operations. Yeah. Sir, what do you hope to achieve at the end of the forum? Uh, we are looking at uh, one of the uh, things that we could uh, be achieving is mm -hmm. a uh, closer, more meaningful cooperation between the different uh, Southeast Asia police organizations. Mm -hmm. That is, of course, in support of the uh, ASEANOPOL. Mm -hmm. um, ASEANOPOL. Yes, ASEANOPOL. Yan po ang uh, organization. Interpol po natin. Yan. Yes, parang kung, parang kung sa buong mundo, Interpol po ang tawag. Mm -hmm. Dito sa ASEAN, uh, ASEAN, ASEAN. ASEANOPOL po yon. So, uh -huh. ito po ay uh, binubuo <laughs> ng sampung mga bansa dito sa Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. kung saan nagkakaroon po tayo ng malaliman din mm -hmm. na uh, kooperasyon, parte sa kabuuan ng mga uh, gawain, kasama na po yung mga alituntunin at pagtutulungan sa pagpapatupad po ng uh, uh, mga trabaho sa uh, seguridad. Yeah. Sa tingin po ninyo, kasi obviously with uh, the ASEAN integration, we are going to be facing lots of pros but at the same time, we will be facing some challenges. Mm -hmm. So what do you think are some of the challenges that we will face mm -hmm. as far as the ASEAN integration that this forum can help to fix? Yes, one of the uh, challenges that we can uh, see is that mm -hmm. uh, brought about by uh, the different uh, cultures that mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. uh, in Southeast Asia, though most of uh, uh, the race uh, that you can find is Malay, as they uh, say, mm -mm. Uh, still we have uh, uh, differences in religion as yes. well. The political structure of uh, each uh, country mm -hmm. and the, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, the culture, the general culture that uh, we get. Nevertheless, uh, there is no challenge wherein we cannot uh, say address. Mm -hmm. uh, we are preparing, that's the reason why uh, we are Talagang firm, uh, no challenge that we yes, cannot address. There's yes. no challenge that we cannot address. <laughs> uh, ganyan it's tayo like, kapositibo yung yes. pananaw natin kasi mm -hmm. uh, napakahalaga po na yung ating pananaw ay nakakabitan ng malakas na pagtitiwala mm -hmm. at paniniwala na ito ay ating magagawa. Unang-una, yes. uh, alam naman po natin na pag inisip natin ito ay mangyayari, pwede po natin gawin yan. Mm -hmm. At ito nakikita po natin. So yun ang uh, uh, mga nakikita natin na pangunahin, na challenges. Political that, structure, mm -hmm. okay. religion, yes. and... Uh, uh, the cultura. Culture, kabuan, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, isa po yun kasi ang magdidikta kung paano kikilos o gaganap ng tungkulin ang bawat police organization sa mga uh, iba't ibang bansa dito mm -hmm. sa Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, kasama na po yung uh, Pilipinas dyan. Ano? Sabi nga nila eh, the Philippines is always a smiling country, welcoming everybody, mm -hmm. anybody coming in into the country. <laughs> Talaga, uh, sinasabi po natin, mabuhay, uh, maligayang pagdating sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Ayan po ang uh, palaging ginagawa natin. Mm -hmm. I have another quick question po, uh, for both of you po. Um, right now, the very hot topic um, in the world is, the t is terrorism. So as far as this forum is concerned, is, how, is that going to be one of the things that will be covered in this forum, especially with ISIS uh, coming overseas, coming over here, um, and affecting the Southeast Asian nations? Because it's going to be something new. So mm -hmm. it have, has that been discussed po, at all? Yeah, it's one of the things that we've been talking about. Uh, pwedeng mangyari kasi dito. Mm -hmm. 
the uh, Philippines is not uh, immune to mm -hmm. these kinds of uh, terrorism mm -hmm. activities, mm -hmm. especially so that even no less than the uh, DFA Secretary, mm -hmm. Albert uh, Del Rosario, confirmed mm -hmm. the threat of ISIS uh, in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we are concerned, but we are prepared okay. as ever to address whatever. As ever, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Tagal na po tayong prepared. Ano yes, po? we are uh, uh, prepared. Uh, kailangan, kumisan, uh, gusto ko nang matawa kanina na nabanggit mo yung ISIS kasi may istorya yan eh. Mm -hmm. uh, sinasabi, mas matindi pa rin kasi sa ISIS. Eh. I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if... Uh, pero, of course, we love our... Uh, yung mga misis namin eh. Mm -hmm. uh, yun daw mas matindi sa ISIS. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> having said that, ano, uh, nice po namin. Mas matindi po yun, I agree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, and, and of course, we welcome it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ganon yun, uh, positive yeah. po. <laughs> so, isa po yan sa mga kapamaraanan kung saan tatalakayin po namin uh, mm -hmm. all issues including security sector reform. And we can only do security sector reform if all the possibilities that could happen mm -hmm. are considered. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, lalong lalo na yung kagaya sa threat sa um, terrorismo. Mm -hmm. If you try to look at how the uh, world is addressing terrorism, mm -hmm. perhaps there are new ways that we can uh, tackle, uh, yes, tackle. Or explore, look at uh, yes, and explore, and look at how we can effectively uh, implement mm -hmm. those measures to address such threats. Mm -hmm. But how about member, going back to human rights, how about ASEAN member nations which are known to be very strict mm -hmm. and, not, and are not very keen on the promotion of human rights, mm -hmm. no? So how do you intend to enjoin them to implement human rights promotion? Uh, first, we have to look uh, at the context of whether uh, those are the facts mm -hmm. that we see or perception. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, in... Uh, Southeast Asia, the perception is that there are still uh, uh, countries that uh, at first glance, it appears that uh, human rights mm -hmm. uh, in their countries, respective uh, countries, are not uh, uh, respected, mm -hmm. protected, and promoted. Mm -hmm. But if you try to look at how all these things in totality, mm -hmm. perhaps it is not. So that is where perception comes in, as sinasabi po natin. Na yung tingin natin, yung paniniwala natin, sa tingin natin ay may mga violations mm -hmm. ng uh, karapatang pantao. Uh, at isa pa pong mainit ano, na tinatalakay ngayon, alam ko tatanungin nyo ito. <laughs> <laughs> alam ko, yan na naman kasi pa, I, 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 I think I overheard, ano, na papag-usapan nyo yung sitwasyon ngayon ng isang nga nating kababayan. Yes. Kung saan, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, yun siguro, napapag-usapan nyo kanina na tungkol sa... Sa Indonesia. Indonesia. Mary Jane Veloso, yes. Nakakalungkot po na may mga ganitong nangyayari. In fact, this is not the first and perhaps not the last that mm -hmm. will happen. Mm -hmm. Kasi kung titignan po natin yung mga kababayan natin na nagnanais yes. magkaroon ng uh, mas mabuting uh, pamumuhay ay uh -oh. nag-a-abroad po. At uh, sila ay tinatawag nating mga buhay na bayani, mm -hmm. overseas Filipino workers. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang kung titignan po natin, lumalabas na parang may tatlong klase mm -hmm. ng, sa pananaw ng OFW. Ano. Yung OFW natin, marami po lihiti mo. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, wala nga lang po tayong datos na mapagkukunan na masasabi natin na napakarami po ang uh, mga lihito mo nating mga mm -hmm. kababayan na bilang OFW. Mm -hmm. But there are also those victims mm -hmm. of human trafficking yes. uh, passing on as you know, OFWs mm -hmm. na uh, pumupunta sa ibang bansa mm -hmm. na in the end eh, sila po yung lalong napapariwara sapagkat... Sila pa yung kawawa? Uh, yes. Biktima oh. na nga sila. Pong, Lalo pang magiging biktima pagdating pang, sa yes. pupuntahan. So that is something we really need to address like uh, Mary Jane Velosa na sa ano na siya, death oh, oh. row na. Paano natin siya? No? How are we gonna save her? Parang ganun po. Yeah, eh, ito nga at, uh, at uh, nakikita pa naman po natin, hindi lamang po yung ating bansa ang nakikiusap mm -hmm. ay uh, President Madami, uh, yes. Widodo, kundi mm -hmm. yung buong mundo. Mm -hmm. no? That's true. Na sana po ay huwag nang bitayin. Uh, kasi Ang paniwala natin, maliban sa may karapatang mabuhay ang bawat isa sa atin, mm -hmm. ay siguro tingnan natin yung mga sirkomstansya kung bakit nangyari yung ganong yes. uh, uh, sitwasyon. Mm -hmm. Yung pang pangatlo nga pala, nagrupo na nasasabi ko, 
uh, there are those um, para pinapakita lang na sila ay OFW pero hindi. Hmm. Yung mga nagpapanggap na OFW para sa ganun ay um, they can proceed with their illicit activities like for example mm -hmm. na sila mismo ay ang may mga pakana ng uh, uh, trafficking dyan mm -hmm. in person and in illegal drugs. Okay. Kaya yan po ay isang napakalaking uh, uh, challenge o hamon sa ating mga kapulisan mm -hmm. na mabigyan natin ng uh, uh, proteksyon yung ating uh, mga kababayan. Mm -hmm. At nais po namin uh, banggitin na uh, ang pamunan po ng uh, Philippine National Police sa pamumunan ni uh, mm -hmm. Police Deputy Director uh, Director General Leonardo Espina. Mm -hmm. Sabi nila, dindo daw ang pangalan. So, yan ay uh, uh, mapursigi po na nagkipagtulungan sa iba-iba pong ahensya ng ating pamahalaan mm -hmm. na nagkakaroon ng responsibilidad para sa ganun ay uh, mabigyang proteksyon lahat ng ating mga kababayan at mga banyaga na pumarito at pumalaon sa ating mm -hmm. uh, bansa. At uh, yun po ang uh, isa sa mga uh, tatalakayin namin mm -hmm. na papag-usapan paano pa natin ma-address yung uh, o mabigyan, matugunan itong mm -hmm. mga um, sitwasyon na ganito ng mga hamon lalong-lalo mm -hmm. na at kung titingnan natin yung pagkakaiba-iba na Mm -hmm. ng uh, mga istruktura, okay. kultura at paniniwala mm -hmm. ng uh, iba't ibang mga membro ng ating uh, karatig bansa dito sa Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. Alright. Maraming maraming salamat po, po sa inyo. Rachel and Thank I are po. very honored to have you here. And we're very honored that the Philippines is hosting the uh, uh, first Southeast Asia Forum for Police Officials and that you are uh, the... Uh, one leading it. Thank you so much, Police Chief Superintendent Antonio Viernes, Chief of the National Police Human Rights Affairs Office, and Police Chief Senior Superintendent Leonardo Cisneros, Assistant Chief of the PNP HRAW. Maraming maraming Thank salamat you po. po sa inyo. Thank you Thank you so much. Maraming salamat And we, have, we hope to have you back after the forum. Ah, sure, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And Rachel and I will be back.